Hello, this is the first in a series of Photoshop tutorials covering selection. There are many ways of selecting a subject. Which method is best will depend on the subject and its surroundings. Sometimes more than one method of selection is required on the same image. Some selecting will use one of the selection tools from the toolbox on the left here and some will use one of the functions from the top menu bar. Many of these are in elements but some will only be found in the full version of Photoshop. We'll start off with the rectangular marquee tool. This is probably the easiest to use in the right circumstances. It's available in all versions of Photoshop including elements. So on this image I'll select the rectangular marquee tool from the toolbox here. The cursor is now a small cross. Now we drag the cursor across the image and the selection line is referred to as marching ants. If we don't like the shape we can just draw another one. It can be moved with the arrows on the keyboard one pixel at a time, up, down anyway or to move it more hold down the shift key and one of the arrows will move the selection 10 pixels at a time. If we want a square selection as you drag the cursor hold down the shift key and that gives it a perfect square but in this case I want a rectangle. So there we are. That'll do. If we leave the selection like this our sample will have a very hard edge as though it's been cut out with a pair of scissors which doesn't always look too good so it's best to soften the edge or feather it as it's called. So we go to select modify feather and I'm going to enter a value of 10. Okay and you see how the corners have got rounded now and the whole edge will be softened in elements it's usually under select feather. Where these functions are in Photoshop or elements can often change in different versions for no logical reason it seems. In the options bar there's a feather box. If you are doing lots of similar images you can enter a value here and it will apply every time. This entry takes precedent over doing it in the select modify feather box. So if 5 is selected in the options by here and you were to enter the minimum of 1 in the feather dialog box you will still get a feather of 5. Now I'm going to put the selected area onto a new layer with layer, new and layer via copy. You'll be doing lots of this so the shortcut is Control J or Command J on a Mac. We can see the new layer in the layers panel. If the layers panel isn't on your screen go to window and drop down to layers here. Now to make the poppy really stand out I'm going to fade the background. I want the background layer active for this and I'll go to image adjustments levels. In elements that's going to be enhance adjust lighting levels. In both cases the shortcut is Control L or on a Mac Command L. Now in output levels I'll drag the dark slider to the right which will lighten the blacks and then it's just a matter of taste. Dark text will stand out well on the light background. OK and that's it our first selection. The next selection tool is the elliptical marquee and it's in the same small menu. It will draw ovals and circles. I'm going to draw an oval selection over this image to isolate the woman. In the toolbox here we press and select the elliptical. As before we drag the cursor across the image to create the oval shape. It can be tall or wide and fat or or any oval shape. Putting the cursor in the middle of the circle we can move it around the image. I'm going to try another one there. A bit bigger. 
Yes, yeah, so I'll go with that. This will need a feather as well. So once again, it's select, modify, feather. I'm going to have a slightly smaller one this time. Let's try sort of seven. We can't really see the feather at the moment. Not until it's cut out and put on a different background, but we can always go back. Now I'm going to put this onto a new layer, which is layer, new, layer by copy, control J or command J on the Mac. If I switch off the background in the layers panel, we can see the feather now. That's quite enough. I'm going to fill the background with white with edit, fill, contents, use white as selected there. Now with the move tool from the toolbox, I can move the image around till it's central. And there we are. The elliptical marquee tool will also draw a perfect circle. And that's what we'll do next. I'll use it to select the moon here. First, we have to put some rulers around the picture. With view, drop down to show rulers. So we've got ruled lines along the top and down the left. Now we select the elliptical marquee tool. Now we put the cursor into the top left hand corner and drag it onto the picture which brings some guidelines with it. We position these guidelines along the edge of the moon. One at the top and one at the left. Release the mouse without moving it and then drag across the picture holding down the shift key which gives us our perfect circle. The top edge and the left edge are determined by those guidelines and where we put the cursor gives us the size of the circle. Release the cursor, release the mouse before you release the shift key. And there we have our circle. A little bit off, so I'm going to nudge it down with the arrows. A little bit to the right. OK. Now if you get that right first time, treat yourself to an extra chocolate cream as a reward. We'll go over it again, just quickly. We'll lose that selection. The rulers have to be shown with view rulers there and we put the elliptical cursor in the top left corner and drag it onto the image bringing the guidelines down one goes to the top of the subject and the other to the left of the subject we release the cursor and then press the cursor down again as we drag it across the image holding down the shift key the shift key gives us a perfect circle I'll release the cursor first, then the shift key. That's a little bit off-center, so with the arrows I'm going to move it down a bit and to the right, like that. Now your selection might be a little bit too big or a little bit too small, so rather than starting again, we can adjust this by going to Select, Modify. I'm going to contract it slightly just to be on the safe side. Two pixels, see how that goes just to be sure I don't get any of the unwanted dark edge there. Now I'm going to give it a slight feather, so it's select, modify, feather. Just one will do for that. OK. Now separate it onto a new layer. This time I'm going to use the shortcut keys, which are Command-J or on the Mac or Control-J on the PC. And we can see in the Layers panel we've got our moon onto a new layer. If I switch off the background, there it is, ready to go on to another image. In the next tutorial, we will look at the lasso tool.